and the enlightened being can take another birth in the physical form. Let us discuss this way also. Why not? Why not? There is a term called avatar in Indian terminology. Avatar. In the Vaishnava Sampradaya, Mahavishnu has taken ten avatars. The one who is born again, after elimination, they are all called avatars. They are coming to the world with the full consciousness from the child. If you look into the childhood days of Sri Krishna, Lord Krishna, you will understand this. Even though he was a very small child, he knew everything. There is a picture where you can see the child Krishna Karna, and he opens up his mouth, the, the whole world is inside his mouth. So, if you understand this question in this manner, whether the illuminated person will take birth as a next life, one more life, in one more physical form, why not? But that birth will not be uh, just an accident. It will be an Intention, based on intention, not by accident. They take human form for a certain purpose. They come to the world, they come to the earth. There are two major division of religion in India, it's called one is followers of Shiva, another one is followers of Vaishnava, Krishna followers. In that avatar, you will find one is a Krishna, another one is Rama. They all appeared on the earth as avatars with certain purposes, not by accident. And they came to the earth, they lived, and they showed something. You can find all the details in Ramayana, Mahabharata. They do come back. Not out of their personal wish or the personal desires. Not for a selfish motive. But for the humanity. The first questioner asked about how can we change the consciousness level, bring the peace on the earth. The answer is avadars. The presence of the avadars, they are coming here to give that realization 
to the people who are living at that time, at that duration of their incarnation. They come again and again and again to make this realization. The realization is about peace is existing already. To point out that 